Hello and welcome to the Frontington and Backwards Railway for a quick update on my signals and points. In my previous video I showed you how I had motorised these start signals using an Arduino Nano, a servo driver board and some small servos mounted under the board. Well, Since then I've added this home bracket signal thing. Basically the left signal is the main one and controls access to platform 2 and the right signal is for the smaller bay platform, which is platform 1. Like before, this was a ratio kit that I had made up for my old layout. In that configuration, the bracket was on the other side, so I had to do a little surgery on it. Connecting up the wire was fiddly, to say the least, especially on the bracket signal. I played with various different mechanisms, including pivots in various places, but in the end this is what I landed on. It's not particularly pretty from this angle, but fortunately the normal viewing angle will be from the other side, so the mechanism will be mostly hidden. I'm happier with the position of the servos too. For the first two signals the servos were oriented slightly differently, and while it works it does look a little cumbersome. This time round I've mounted them on their sides, and that seems much tidier. I've also added some little ground signals. These don't move, that would be silly. But they are mounted on top of some old sleepers, so that they'll be raised above the level of the ballast. The other development to share with you is that I've motorised my points as well, again using those little servos and the same Arduino servo controller board. Again, this was fiddly, so apologies that I didn't get any footage of this at the time. I had already drilled 10mm holes in the board before I laid the track, in anticipation of this. The servos are mounted in those aluminium U-channel sections again, this time screwed to the board so that they can clamp in place these little bits of plastic art which have a hole in them. That acts as a, an adjustable pivot point, so that I can fine-tune the position of the wire that moves the point blades. So that's 10 servos in total, controlling 4 signals and 6 points. The setup is perhaps what you'd call fragile. I wouldn't use this approach on a layout I was going to be transporting to lots of exhibitions, it would just fall apart. So for that you'd still be better off using something with a few more years of R&D behind it. But for my layout it seems to work nicely. Time will tell. But that's all for this video, just a quick update really. Bye for now!